Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the organ section on the Nord Stage 3. If you're looking to buy the Nord Stage 3 or you bought it and you're trying to figure out how to use the organ section, this video is for you. Just like all the instrument sections on the Nord Stage 3, we can turn it on and off by pressing this on off zone select button. You'll notice when we press that, it lights up and on the screen, we have the B3 under the organ section. So this is the organ, piano, and synth sections. And as we turn those on, you'll notice that it populates the screen with the different sound presets that we have called up. I'm gonna turn the piano and synth off. And so we've got the B3 and we can also see our draw bar levels here on the screen, which is really handy because if we call up a preset that's not using the live draw bars, we can quickly set these draw bars to the correct setting, at least on the 73 compact. If you've got the 76 or the 88, you're gonna have LED indicators instead of the physical draw bars. And then you'll have increase and decrease buttons below each LED indicator. And so when you call up a preset, it's gonna load up the appropriate draw bar setting. Kind of nice there, whereas with the compact, you have to actually manually set those. Or as you'll notice, if I go away from live mode and I just find a organ program, you'll notice that the draw bar settings are here. Now, as soon as I touch any one of these draw bars, it jumps to where I move the draw bar. Kind of a bummer, but if you don't touch them, it'll stay at whatever the program's at. Let's go back to live mode and let's bring all these draw bars forward and talk about a couple other things here. We have our main volume of the organ section. So if I press a note, I can adjust the overall level of the organ section. And then I can always split. If I have split turned on, I can hold shift and I can change the zones of which is splitting by holding shift and pressing the zone select button. Let's turn split off. We have a couple other things here. So octave up and down. We can change the octave of the organ section. We can turn the pitch stick and the sustain pedal on by holding shift and tapping either one of these octave shift buttons that corresponds with the label. So if we turn both of those on. I prefer not to have pitch stick on because I don't use that with an organ, but I do use a sustain pedal when I'm playing with the Leslie effect. Then we've got this draw bar section here. So if we turn all of these off, you'll notice that draw bar preset one is called up. We could turn preset two on, or we could press live, which is automatically gonna set the levels of the instrument to wherever your draw bars are at. So if I move these here, and I'm on, let's say I'm on preset two, and then I hit live, you'll notice it automatically jumped to wherever my draw bars were at. Kind of works similar to live mode in that it'll just take whatever you have called up here on the draw bars and play that. So then up at the top, we have our organ models. We can change the different organ models by tapping on this button here. You'll notice it cycles through them. And then we have the vibrato and chorus section. You can turn that on and cycle through the different vibrato and chorus settings. Turn that off. We have percussion for the B3s. So you can turn that on as well. Now, over here on the left-hand side, we have the rotary speaker effect. You'll notice this organ sounds a little bit dry and thin. It sounds a lot better when we turn the rotary speaker on. We can also turn the drive up on this. So we have stop mode, which you can hear there's no Leslie at all. You can turn stop mode off. Now we have our Leslie slowly turning. Then we can bring that to fast. So really nice control there. And then really the main part of this organ section are the draw bars. So let's bring these all the way up and let's just play some of the organ models. You'll notice the B3, the two pipe organs, if I bring all of these down, these labels right here correspond for the B3 and the two pipe organs. Vox is this lower line here. 
and then FARF is the top line of text there. So the labels correspond with the different organ models. Uh, let's just go ahead and I'm gonna bring all the draw bars back. Let's just play this B3 sound. Pretty cool stuff there. A couple of things I wanted to mention before I move on to the other organ models is if you go into the sound menu, hold shift and press number two, you'll notice that five through 11 really have to deal with the organ section. So tone wheel mode, we can change that between vintage clean and vintage two. We have the B3 organ click level. We have the organ key trigger point. We have the rotary speaker type between 122 and 122 closed. Bass horn levels, so right out of the box is 50-50, but we can change that here. The rotary rotor speed and the acceleration rates. The rotary horn speed and acceleration rates. And then we also have, if we go into system, hold shift and tap on the one, we have a swell pedal. So we can plug the into the organ swell port on the back of the Nord Stage 3. You can plug a swell pedal in and you can use that to swell the sounds on the organ. So pretty cool, a lot of functionality around the organ section. Let's jump in and check out a couple of the other organ models. Now on the Farfisa organ, the draw bars actually act as switches instead of draw bars. So you'll notice the screen's a little different. And if we move these back, you'll notice that it's just doing like an on off switch. On the 76 and the 88 key versions, you're just gonna have the increase and decrease buttons. Those are gonna act as the on off switches.
And then we've got the two pipe organs here. I'm gonna bring my volume down because there's a lot of output on these. And then the last pipe organ here. So there you go, that is the organ section on the Nord Stage 3. I hope that gives you an idea of the different sounds and the different organ models that the Nord Stage 3 comes with. I am not a trained organ player, as you can tell, um, but those are some of the sounds. At least you can see how you can control them, the different sounds that are there. If you've got any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with piano, synth and effect videos very soon, as well as how to use the extern section. So be on the lookout for those. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.